So in this video, we're going to take a general look at how loading plugins works within the machine hardware. So we've already actually covered loading an instrument in the machine hardware in a previous tutorial, the machine know-how, the basics. So I'll just briefly touch on the process again, just as a refresher. So you want to go to the browser and you can navigate to instruments using the tabs up here. Now it's currently showing us user presets. So I'm just going to hit this tab here and switch that off. So we're looking at the factory presets. And I'm just going to refine the search here and scroll through the actual instruments that we have available. So we are currently looking at all the NKS formatted instruments again. If I switch to user, these are now going to be the instruments that I have that are not NKS formatted as well. And what you can see on the right there are the actual presets that I've saved for vStation on machine. Okay, now let me come out of this mode and I want to show you a slightly different way of doing this, which is a little quicker. So instead of going to browse and using the filter to refine our results, if you just hit shift and browse, it'll take you to a different screen and it's automatically focused on instruments. And the first vendor we're looking at here is internal, which means we're looking at plugins that are actually native to the machine software. The next one is the native instrument selection. And of course, these will be the products from native instruments that you have. Now, if you scroll beyond that, you're going to see all the vendors for all the different instruments you have in your folder. And this sort of three tiered structure is the same kind of layout we saw when loading instruments in the machine GUI. So we want Novation. And if I just hit this next button here, it's going to load the instrument. So now that we've got vStation loaded, if we come out of browse mode, you'll see all those macro parameters already assigned and available on the machine hardware on these eight encoders. And since there are so many parameters, they're laid out on separate pages. And those can be accessed with the cursor right here. Now let's talk a moment about loading presets. So there are actually factory presets that come with the vStation, but I can't access them from the machine hardware because it's not an NKS format instrument. However, what you can see on the right screen here are my own presets that I've saved into machine. And all I simply did was load it up the factory preset and then save it again into machine so that I could have access to it from the hardware interface. I'll just call it ARP01. And I'll just hit save. And you'll now see that preset show up on the machine hardware as well. So that about sums up our look at loading instruments on the machine interface. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.